Hi, I'm Hami from Hami's World, and here um, is a video I have on YouTube for uh, saving emails in Outlook to your hard drive. And this seems to be a rather popular thing that folks will want to do. And um, I have a different method to share with you in this tutorial uh, for doing the same thing. Uh, in uh, the one that I have already on YouTube, it saves the emails in um, Outlook message format. Um, it's great uh, for being able to search the emails. Um, it's great for saving uh, bulk. Um, I could save a lot of emails this way um, at one time. Um, and it really works well with the searching feature. It is a good option. But for those people that are not wanting to use Outlook anymore, uh, discontinue the use of Outlook, um, this would not be a good method because these are in Outlook message format. And when you click on them on your hard drive, they do open up in Outlook. And so I have another method to share with you. Um, the drawback of this method is that uh, you cannot save as many emails uh, to your hard drive at one time. Um, in this method, I can save hundreds. Um, our new method is going to be saving it into PDF. And when you're saving it into PDF, I have had uh, it come back and tell me I'm out of memory on my computer. Um, on another computer, I can save more. Uh, I can save uh, more, but on this one I can't save as much because I got more stuff on this computer. So it's going to be different for each person. Um, what you're going to need is uh, you're going to either need the professional version of Adobe um, or you're going to need this cute PDF writer which is free and just go to cutepdf.com and you're going to see the free version. They do have a professional version but um, I generally just use the free version and I use this all the time and where you're going to find this is um, actually as a printer. You see the icon here. Um, it uh, is actually uh, one of your options. You choose it as one of your printers. So I've loaded up again some emails here in my Outlook, some test emails for us to play with this. And um, let's say I want to save all of these to uh, one uh, PDF. You can do just one email. I just dropped some names in here for search purposes so you can see um, when we're done how um, you can search this, uh, but uh, basically I just selected all of the emails. I hold down my shift key, click on the first one and click on the last one and you see it selects them all. And then I'm going to hit control P for my printer and you see it comes up with my default printer. and. I'm not sure what version of Outlook I'm in, probably 2010 maybe. It might look a little different in your version, uh, but I'm sure you're going to be able to find it. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to see all my available printers. And I've got my cute PDF here, so I'm going to select that. And then I'm just going to select Print. And this uh, came up really quickly. Um, went back to the email but there it goes it comes up there's some I was saving recently so it went to my most recent folder um, this is something that I do I send reminder emails to my classes at Hummies World and I list what credits they have for their classes and I've always had to come to my emails that I save on um, uh, Outlook 
and do a search if somebody has returned to a class after several years to find their email credit or their class credits. Uh, I'm saving these all into PDF and I'm actually putting them on my Google Drive so that I can access these now from whatever computer I'm on and I don't have to wait till I'm at my Outlook at home. So uh, there are lots of uh, purposes for doing this. Um, another one that I'm going to be using is I used to be on uh, email lists with uh, genealogy and I've saved all of these possible their their emails that have names that are similar to the names I'm researching but I haven't had a chance to check them out I got a zillion of them well I'm going to put all of those together in one um, so there's lots uh, so I can get them out of my Outlook and so I can put them in a folder that says emails uh, not related but possibly related on the folder so you know if I die my family knows that these are not important emails uh, they were just for research purposes anyway um, so we're going I'm going to just choose my desktop though and I'm going to um, type here the name I want my PDF to be and click save and um, when I go down to uh, my desktop uh, you're going to see there it is and we can open it up and here's uh, what it looks like uh, when you get it open and I am going to slowly talk <laughs> to wait for it to open okay there it goes and so here it is um, you know the first email and then we could go to page two page three and there are all the emails you can see there's eight pages now uh, let's say I want to find a particular thing that I'm searching I'm just gonna hit control F and this box uh, comes up and let's say I'm looking for Chris and um, I hit search and there it came up with the email with that so um, searching is usually is, is important for me and now it's all in one file so I will review this again real quick since I did a lot of talking in between uh, you go now like I said you have to test how many you can do I can't do too many um, on this computer I can do a few hundred on my other computer I can only do maybe about a hundred on this computer here you have to test how much yours does it'll just come up and say you're out of uh, memory depends on how much RAM you have on your computer available RAM not being used by other programs so I'm gonna hold down my shift key and uh, select the top one and the bottom one you may need to scroll if you've got uh, several uh, emails um, if you've got them all in one folder you can just do control A and then we're gonna hit control P and I'm going to choose the cute PDF in the download. I'm going to hit print. And, and now it's processing. It actually comes back to this Outlook pretty quickly when I do, you know, 100 emails. That takes a little bit longer to do. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, sometimes I don't know why. If you go ahead and like click to minimize this program, it pops up. So then I'm just going to do test two and save it. And um, here on my desktop is the second one. So um, that is saving uh, your emails to uh, uh, from Outlook to your hard drive in PDF. And I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you because um, now after you get it in PDF, you can get it out of your Outlook and uh, make your Outlook file much smaller and be organized. Hey, see you around.